Hi guys, Hyperladov here, the Norwegian gamer, and this is some more gameplay from Battlefield Heroes. So, um, in this video I wanted to kind of comment on something that Colin mentioned in his recent uh, Back to Basics um, commentary, and also something that was br brought up with the release of Black Ops and that is ambient sounds in games and most specifically Battlefield really and Bad Company too but also on a little more you know general basis I guess so the thing was when Black Ops was released that a lot of hardcore Call of Duty players felt that the um, footsteps weren't loud enough they were so silent and quiet that the perk ninja which basically mutes your sounds uh, your footsteps uh it, it was obsolete and, and it wasn't worth using because of no one can hear you walk anyway and one of the other complaints that still remain even after they've patched the um the uh, uh this volume of this of the footsteps is the fact that on some of the maps there are some ambient sound that is really distracting and really ruins the uh, what they like to call sound whoring but really just listening to the environment around you and I don't feel this as much in Black Ops but in Bad Company 2 I use those ambient sounds for uh, as, as part of my tactic because let's say I know that there's a guy in on the second story of a house right and if I'm gonna, if I just sprint into that house and start uh, stomping on the floor, he's gonna hear me and be ready for me at the stairs. But if there's a lot of uh, noise going on around, like a, there's probably a BMD outside that's firing at, uh, at another house, there's some shooting in the background, some grenades are going off, and there's a lot happening here. And that means that he's not gonna be as likely to hear the footsteps coming up behind him. However, if it's really, really quiet, say that he's a sniper that's, um, you know, uh, in a house all on the far edge of the map and is just standing there si uh, silently sniping by himself, I may might consider being a li bit, little bit more careful because then he'll be more able to hear my footsteps and might turn around and shoot me in the face. And with a sniper rifle, that's not too fun because it's a one-shot kill. But you know, also it it mm, makes my advantage or um, uh, makes my edge go away, kind of. So I really think that the ambient sounds in, especially Battlefield, really contributes to what tactics you can use and what you should be aware of in your surroundings. And Colin kind of. I wouldn't say bash, but he kind of put it put it down that the um, put down the fact that you can't always hear everything in the matches. But I really think that um, the ambient sounds really adds to the strategic gameplay. So, for example, um, if you're playing in a squad with a team, you may might, for example, say that one guy, two of the guys are going to shoot some tubes on the outside, uh, some 40 mils on the outside, even if it's uh, grenades or it's just smokes, or throw some grenades perhaps, and that will kind of make the the persons on the inside deaf uh, to some extent, so that people can actually go in and not be, uh, they can't be hurt, so they can, might actually be able to sneak up on, uh, and by the way, TNT toss uh, failed for the win. Um, so they might actually be able to kind of sneak up on uh, the people on the inside and the guys on the outside of the house might even may draw their attention to another um, side of the house than the guys are sneaking in at. So, you know, there's a lot of tactics going on here that, that I really think that you would miss without the ambient sounds and really the sound design of Battlefield. And <clears throat> on the note of the sound design of Battlefield, I mean, it's always been stellar. I mean, seriously. Some 
some studios might say that yeah we've paid uh, extra we've paid extra attention to the sound this time around and really made it like you were freaking there but then dice comes along and just kind of goes you know call that sound design we're gonna fucking sound just uh, show you sound design and just slap the one battlefield game in their face and it's more or less you know perfect I mean it's some of the best sound design you've ever seen I mean I was really blown away when it came out and the just the 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 fact that if you fire your weapon and this is especially true for assault rifles or LMGs because that's when you hear it the best when you have full auto fire going off and you you're in a room right you're in uh, you're in one of the smaller houses and you're firing away at a guy or something and you hear the the echo of the of the gun going off around you then as you fire you move outside and suddenly the sound around you changes because the environment's different so the sound is different just like in real life and even if you're next to a metal wall or a concrete wall the sounds are different and it's so awesome and and when you first get used to it and we first notice it it's so awesome and, and it, it, it's it's kind of mind-boggling and mind-blowing that they they're actually able to do that and how far video games have come yeah so um <laughs> that's the end of the video video i believe i go 15 and 1 yeah real good game hope to see you next time it's not